crispy. Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Ant-Man series, Marvel Legends Infinite series. Tiger Shark. This is a pretty cool looking figure. I like the whole layout with the purple and orange there. It's a pretty fun character. It's really good that they're getting really abstract with these characters and doing characters that we've never seen before and probably never will. If you want to read that, pause it. And uh, about what I've never seen before is that, you know, characters like uh, Grim Reaper here that we've never seen before in the Marvel Legends format. And they're really, you know, they're abstract because you don't see them much in shows, just in a few comics. So it's good that they're trying to uh, fulfill our whole entire Marvel Legends collection there. Let's open it up. Let's take a closer look at Tiger Shark's mold and paint apps here. He's got a really wicked looking face. I like that a lot. And you can actually see the texture on his fin on top of his head. It actually looks fishy and it has a fishy texture to it. You can see it, I believe, in the picture. Uh, it looks like little dots. I don't know if that's actually... It doesn't feel scaly like a fish, but I'm not sure how a shark feels. Sharks don't have scales. So I'm going to say it's pretty accurate to a shark uh, in that regards. Um, one of the disappointing things is that you can see some of the purple sticking through the orange in there. So unfortunately, we got some parts like the arms that are molded in orange plastic, and then the body is molded in... Uh, purple plastic and then they paint it over with orange and Hasbro's got a huge problem there with the rib cages with the paint always showing through and that, open, that happens on almost every single figure that we get. This is the Hyperion body mold and we've seen this on the Carnage and other symbiote figures before. It's not my favorite because the way the chest is sticking out but it actually looks a little bit better on this figure for some reason. Uh, it doesn't give that uh, weird tucked in chin look that a lot of the other ones give. I like his hand molds here. Those look freaking really cool. Look at that. Man, he's ready to tear someone's face off. They're actually a little bit clawed there too. So those look great. And the legs, no complaints on the legs. The paint looks actually pretty good on those. So not too bad in the quality control department. Uh, for the most part, the paint is okay, except for there in the rib cage, and the face just looks cool. That's a really nice looking face mold. That's wicked, and I like the fact that they added some texture in there. And I also like the fact that this is kind of uh, wavy and not just straight down. Gives it some kind of, you know, gives it motion, so I like that a lot as well. Head articulation is obviously going to be hindered by a spin on his head. He will go down and look pretty far down. And that doesn't really look realistic because of the way the chest is molded there. But at least you can look all the way down. Can't really look back a little bit. And you can look side to side for the most part. Shoulders, he'll go up that high. He'll go all the way around. And then we'll get one of these double jointed elbows. And then we get a swivel on the wrist. And then we get the hinge. Ab crunch. He goes down that much. Ooh, it's really stiff. Wow. And he'll go back that far. Maybe a little bit farther. Nope. We got a waist swivel here. His legs will go up that high. They don't go back very far. We got an upper thigh swivel here. Double jointed knees. Calf swivel. And an ankle rocker with the hinge. I'm not a big fan of the shoes he's wearing. I wish they were claws like his hands or maybe something a little bit different. I don't know. I just, I just don't see Tiger Shark or is that his name? Tiger Shark? I don't see this shark dude wearing uh, shoes like this so that's kind of unrealistic but that's what they've been kind of doing. They just keep rehashing the same feet but I guess uh, to some people it's not a big problem but I would like to see a little bit more detail added to the feet on these figures. That would be that'd be a nice change. So overall, this is a pretty wicked figure. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with it. I'm really happy that Hasbro went on a limb and releases figures like these that are really not too popular of characters and not well known by anybody except for, you know, fans of the actual series. It looks really good. I think they finished it out really well. There's a few mishaps in there and, uh, you know, that's, that's going to happen with almost every figure you get. I mean, I've gotten... Japanese imports figures for 50 bucks and they've had minor issues as well so this is only $20 and for $20 I'm very satisfied and I'm going to recommend it to you. If you like this figure check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. You can find him and uh, all the other counterparts in his 
series, the Ultron Build-A-Figure series. You should be able to get all of them and complete that set. Other than that, that's all I got for today. I really do appreciate you watching. Peace out.